News started in October 2006 when we realised that there wasn't really anything out there for foreigners who couldn't read Dutch newspapers. And we thought, let's give it a go, because one of the things about being a foreigner in a, in a new country is that you can often feel really isolated. And we think that, that knowing what the news is, being able to talk to your friends and your colleagues about the big stories of the day, be it political or sport, is really part of feeling at home. We try to give people a complete spectrum of what the Dutch newspapers are covering, what the issues are. It can be politics, it can be high finance, it can be a, a simple thing like a story about the, a dog that got lost and found its way home, if it's interesting and we think that people will like to read it. One of the things we do is put news into context. Just translating the Dutch news into English won't work. Nobody would understand what it's about. As part of that, what we've done is made a book, A Dictionary of Dutchness, and in that we try to give a little bit of background about what certain terms mean, like CRO or VRO. The Dutch are very fond of these acronyms and Dutch stories are sprinkled with them. Well, I sit in front of the computer all day, so I would check it probably, probably about three times a day. I just check up to see what's new. Things that come to my mind, like, is there a place I can go to a children's party? Um, a plumber, whatever. So I check it for those things. I go to the what's on and of course the news. The thing about Dutch news is that we do listen to what our, our readers are saying and we shouldn't forget that we've got the website, we've got an email newsletter, we've got the mobile phone service and if there are other things out there then we add them in. I mean our primary aim is to give people the best quality service that we possibly can and help them feel a little bit at home in the Netherlands.